Today, we're talking about the three biggest challenges when it comes to launching or growing a small scale juice business. That's what we're talking about today. But before we dive into the topic of conversation, if you're new to the channel and you don't know who I am or what we do, my name is Andrew McFarlane, founder of Starter Juice Bar. I've been in this industry for 13 years. I've done everything from sell juice at farmer's markets, launch juice trucks, open multiple storefronts. And in our company and myself, we've had the opportunity to help hundreds of people just like you do the same. So let's dive in. You're thinking about starting a small scale juice business or you're already running a small scale juice business and you wanna know what the pitfalls are, challenges. Today I'm gonna to talk about the top three and the things that you can do to avoid them, some remedies. And at the end of this video, you definitely wanna to say to the end, I'm gonna share something with you that we've never done before, an exclusive offer uh, that we can share with you in the community to help you grow and launch your small scale juice business. Okay, so the first challenge that I see when it comes to running and operating a small scale juice business, it's actually getting to the right scale because there's barriers to entry at every point. And what do I mean by that? When you're running a small scale juice business, you have the challenge of really needing to purchase ingredients wholesale because that's where you make money. If you're buying ingredients from the grocery store, I did another video about that, definitely you don't wanna be doing that because you're not gonna have the margins to be profitable or profitable enough with your product. So you need to get to, to purchasing your ingredients wholesale. But the other challenge around that is if you don't have the demand, you might have produce that starts to go bad. Okay, so this is why there's a, a really specific art in terms of how you design your recipes and your menu to make sure that you're going through enough ingredients fast enough and which ingredients last long. When you're ordering from your wholesalers based on when you're gonna be selling your products, whether that's at farmer's markets or doing cleanse programs or something like this, uh, and how you organize the entire operations of your business. In some ways, sometimes actually running a small scale juice business well can be a bit more complicated, even though it's cheaper and faster to start, it can be a bit more nuanced to do it correctly because of the other restrictions you have around space, finances, um, demand, all those things you have to think about in order to have a proper foundation. So the biggest challenge in the beginning, one of them I should say, top three, is actually getting to scale and dealing with the complexities of running a juice business on a small scale. That's the first thing. What's the second thing? The second thing, which is probably pretty obvious, but we're gonna talk about in a bit more detail, and that is getting customers, okay? A, time, a lot of times I see that small scale juice business owners don't have strategies for marketing their business. They don't know how to, to position themselves well enough to attract people because maybe you have competitors or you're just not really savvy with online marketing, but actually getting customers outside of your friends and family, which is usually how people start. The story is something like, hey, I was making juice for myself. I started posting online or I started taking it to work started making juice for more people because they started asking me to, and now I want to take it seriously as a business, but now I have to actually create demand or tap into the existing demand in my market. How do I do that? Well, there are strategies to do that in terms of organic and paid strategies, right? So I'll just give you a quick tip and um, high level thinking when it comes to marketing, okay? There'll be more of this in the thing I'm gonna share later on, but just understand foundational premise when you think about marketing, you always have to think about who is your customer and where are they? And when I say who is your customer, I don't just mean in terms of are they male, are they female, what's their age, but who is your customer in terms of personality type and where are they? So a quick example would be most of the time people who buy and order juice are health focused, which means they're going to fitness businesses in your environment. How do you target and collaborate with the fitness businesses in your environment? or target the customers that go to those businesses to offer them opportunities to purchase from you. So you have to know where they are and how to get in front of them and how to offer them things that are compelling so that they buy from you, okay? That's the thing, that's a high level thinking and there's multiple strategies around that. But that's what you wanna think about marketing when it comes to any business, okay? That's the second thing. What's the third biggest challenge when it comes to launching or growing a small scale juice business? So it's come to my attention that only 18.8% .8 of the people who watch this content regularly are actually subscribed to the channel. So as a quick favor to ask, please subscribe. And in return, I will be sure to make more content, higher quality content that you can enjoy and it can support you in launching your juice business. Thank you so much for subscribing and we'll continue with the video. The third biggest challenge and issue is getting beyond being a solopreneur. Now, if you've watched this channel for a while, I've often referenced the book, The E-Myth. This is a great book, and it's really about 
how you go from working in your business to working on your business. And that means going from being just a solopreneur, working in your business to eventually having employees and growing and, and really seeing that the organization is going to evolve and change. And the challenges that come with starting to have employees and starting to get to scale are also different. So when you go from just being you and part of the challenge is that a lot of times people get stuck in this catch 22 of all they're doing is working and they're making enough money to continue to work, but they're not making enough money to continue to, to start hiring employees to train them and get beyond that phase. So you have to really understand what are the strategies. This is why before I talked about having margins, you have to have the right margins with your products in order to be able to afford to start hiring people. And you also have to have marketing strategies to grow and increase the demand so you can also afford to start hiring employees to work in your business for you and with you so you can start focusing on expanding beyond that and really becoming an entrepreneur as opposed to a solopreneur. And you can start working on the business as opposed to just strictly, work, strictly working in the business. Okay, this is a big challenge for a lot of people because the thinking is, and this is, you know, and I'm not saying any of this from a place of judgment because I was also this person. If you have made juice for yourself, well, then you just make juice for more people. And then you go from making juice for more people to saying, okay, I'm reaching my limit. What do I do here now? How do I go beyond this? And this is kind of to what kind of equipment you have, how you structure your margins, like I said before, how you have your marketing strategy, where you make it, what kinds of packages and products you sell, and everything. It's all connected to all of it that's going to allow you to grow your business in the right way. So as I mentioned earlier on in this video, part of my um, interest in sharing this with the community at this point is we've actually developed a program called Juice Business Mastery. There's a link in the description box below if you wanna gain access to this. It's an exclusive program just for this community right now, and there's limited spots available. So if you really are serious about taking your small scale juice business to the next level, or you're really interested in getting started and doing it in the right way so you can grow effectively and efficiently, and maybe you wanna have multiple storefronts down the road, maybe you wanna franchise your business down the road, whatever your goals are, if you wanna have that great foundation and really build a business that is profitable, our goal with this is to get you to the point where you're at least making $10,000 a month in your small scale juice business. Click the link below, or if you have questions about it, reach out to me personally at andrew at starterjuicebar.com. This is all about really get, getting you guys, if you're limited maybe with your time or your budget, or you just wanna get your feet wet, you wanna start, you wanna do it intelligently, this program is for you. So you can click the link below and learn more. That's for, all for the video for today. If you guys aren't following us on Instagram, you definitely wanna follow us on Instagram at starterjuicebar. Also, if you like podcasts, listen to our podcast. It's on Spotify, it's on iTunes, it's called the Juice Bar Experts Podcast. And like the video, if you made it this far, you clearly like it. It inspires me to make more content. It helps increase the quality of the content. That's what we're gonna be providing for you. And lastly, subscribe to the channel. That's all for today. Sending you guys my love. See you at the next video. Hope you guys have been enjoying the video content. If you're inspired to learn even more about how to start your juice business from scratch, for you, we have a free ebook. It's called the 15 Steps to Starting Your Juice Business. And this is going to go through a high-level overview, through a step-by-step -step process on how you get your business off the ground. Everything from you know branding, menu development, finding the right location, and more. This is going to be a clear roadmap so you know how to go from where you are all the way to opening your store. If you want to go even deeper, We've also created an online course. It's called the Juice Bar Master Blueprint. This is going to go into great depth on everything from how do you put together and think about recipe development? How do you cost out your menu? And what's the math around it? What equipment do you need? How do you design your store? How do you find the right location? And so much more. I know you're going to find a lot of value out of both of these. There's links in the description below. So I hope to see you guys at the next video and enjoy. Enjoy.